Andy, man. <laughs> the Wendy Williams Experience. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. I resent having to wear headphones. I really, really do. They totally deflate my hair. It was standing so tall. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Wendy Williams Experience. Well, the good news is that it's Friday, the weekend's here. The bad news is that Kim has been found guilty, so we're going to continue to talk about that today. Plus, we'll talk about Michael Jackson, we'll talk about Janet, we'll talk about John Ratzenberger and his gold-digging tramp. We'll talk about Star Jones. Good news for our friend A.J. Calloway. He can finally break free from the Negroes <laughs> on BET. Congratulations in advance, AJ. Uh, we'll also talk about Puffy. Um, the Hour of Truth, we'll continue to talk about people. <laughs> but guess what? During Advice Hour, I've got an attorney um, who's coming in for Advice Hour, which is next hour. Her name is Kathy Middleton, and she's going to give practical advice to your everyday legal issues. The dry cleaner still has my clothes. What should I do? My baby's father will not pay child support, and we can't find him. What should I do? Our landlord has turned off the heat, and I've been keeping up with my rent. What should I do? So, um, Advice Hour is going to be all about legal advice, and if you have any legal questions for our guests, now would be the time to fax them in, and I'll save your fax for the counselor, okay? It's 866-WENDY-FAX. That's the fax number, and it is what it is. It's the Wendy Williams experience. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor and distinction that I introduce to you the queen of all media. Wendy Williams. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Happy birthday to friend of the show, Vanessa Williams. And happy birthday to Queen Latifah as well. And a big shout out to Alan at the Warner Music Group for reminding me that today is the birthday of two women that I love. Vanessa and Queen Latifah. Love them. Oh. So as you can imagine, um, or probably not, but... I, sh I didn't even imagine it when I woke up, ergo, the tease and pop, you know. So I just finished with uh, Inside Edition regarding Little Kim. Um, you know, they ask the usual questions that media seems to be asking. That's my first media thing that I did regarding it. Um, but <clears throat> um, they asked me, do I think that she still has a career? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? It's not like she her image is girl next door. This will give her... Uh, <laughs> For what it's worth, more gangster cred, she'll have a moment to sit, whether it's, you know, in her house with an ankle bracelet around her or whether it's, you know, I think she's going to get a triple Martha Stewart. Do you know what that is? That's 15 months. Martha got five. I think she'll get a triple Martha. I don't think she's going to get, you know, years. She might get a she might get a Martha five months and then, you know a five-month ankle bracelet, and then she'll be out. You know, but either way, you know, 
it'll only serve to make her a stronger person. This is not going to kill her, you know. Um, and if anything, if she uses her time wisely, it'll make her more famous and more wealthy. Think about it. You know, and the people at Inside Edition, they were like, I, I was like, what other female rapper, I was telling them this behind the scenes, what other female rapper would you be calling to do a story on? I know the audience of Inside Edition. Corn-fed, white bread, middle America. I'm surprised you get me on there to talk about so much stuff, but they, I usually get the calls when Negroes are in trouble. You know what I mean? I get on every hard copy, Inside Edition, you know, E, entertain, you know, like that. And I like it, but... You know, my reasoning for going is not necessarily the most pleasant thing. You know, they, you know, but you know, for what it's worth, I said, who, else, what other female rapper would you be here for other than Missy Elliott? I said you wouldn't be here for Foxy Brown. But, you know, Foxy's still got a little bit to go before corn-fed, middle-bred. You know, even knows or cares. I don't not say middle America cares about little Kim, but they at least know who she is, and that's the that's the point of being an entertainer. You know, so, Kim, I think you'll like what I said. And I wasn't talking predicated on, on you know, oh, I hope Kim likes it because, you know, I really don't care. It's what I think, though. What I think is, is that we'll all be interested in what little Kim has to say if she gets a triple Martha. And I'm saying th that's the longest I think that she'd get if they sent her to jail. Triple Martha. I don't see no Jackie O, no Trina, nobody else sitting on the launching pad to come up and take what Kim's already built. She's good for 15 months to be able to come out and still, if she's got good material. Wreck shop. You're good, Kim. You know, no disrespect to the other female rappers, but... I don't see anybody who'll be able to step it up that quickly. Hell, I was shocked when I went to Philly and came back and was able to do like I'm doing. I, I was shocked at that, though. But I guess stepping up is not as easy as people make it seem. See, I'm always thinking it's, you know, oh, yeah, you know. Rapper from the block is right now in the studio working on her craft, you know, knowing that Kim's going to be out of the way for a minute and stuff. It doesn't happen like that. And then even when it happens, public, it's the public embracing. You know, it's, it's not going to happen for another Kim, will, there'll still be room for Kim. The thing that she has on her side is that she's four feet 11. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because not for nothing, you know, when she gets out, she'll be uh, 31. Uh, you know, nobody really wants to hear about that from there. But you forget about that because she's like a Cupid doll. Do you know what I mean? She's like a Cupid doll. So 31 and still rapping, it's not as bad as, you know, as it might seem because she's short. So she can still, you can still think she's 21, in other words, childlike. But she'll get, be able to get a chance to review her camp, review her friends, review her business tactics, you know. Because there's some other issues there also, not issues that she's getting sent to jail for. But, you know, like firing her accountant, making sure she's signing off on her checks, paying her taxes, not having, not having a flop house, but making a home for herself. You know, choosing her manager, her friends, her boyfriends more wisely. In the meantime, she'll have 24-7 to write some dope-ass lyrics and we'll all be interested. And there will be nobody to step up if she does a triple Martha. Nobody is going to step up and take what little Kim's already built for herself. So I'm sorry to hear about what happened, but you know what? You got to learn how to turn it into some lemonade. You got to you got to start on that now, Kim. From the time you heard the G and guilty, good. What? Okay, I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna do it hard. I'm letting go of this one. I'm letting go of that one. Come out with a whole new attitude, whole new attitude. And she still um, got the the wherewithal and the respect in the game to be able to do it. And nobody's gonna yeah, take baby. what she's built in 15 months. Yeah, it's not baby. going to happen. It's not going to happen. Shout out to Stacy. Stacy says, um, as for little Kim Wendy, I think that we need to understand that we always need to pick our friends and not just who comes along. Little Kim had to learn this the hard way. And even if I feel bad, she will now know that love is action and we don't just put our asses on the line for people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kim. I mean, you know, it's a stiff learning lesson, but she'll get through it. You know, you know um, what I did say though is that I don't know that she'll be invited to Donatella's, you know, front row at the at the Versace because she doesn't have the complexion connection. You know, we 
will be here to at least listen to what she's got to say in her 15 bars after a triple Martha. The hood, the streets, fans of hip hop, people who embrace this hip hop culture, we will be here. But, um, you know, the white people who she's tried so much to look like and be ingratiated by, they accept Martha with all Martha's money and Martha's complexion connection. The, all this right now, this has just reminded them, Kim, you made nothing but an in. And, and, and a wannabe white mm, with the blue contact. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The blonde hair and all like that. That's okay. She'll rethink her whole plan when she comes out. And you know how we are, folk. We forget everybody. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Kim will be okay. As long as she reevaluates. And it's got to come from within. You really can't listen to anybody in terms of your reevaluation. Not even your mother. Not even your best friends. Not even, you know, you got to talk to God. You, it's you and the G.O.J. Time to grow up, Kim. Wendy, the news reported earlier that the judge is willing to forgive Kim if she publicly apologizes and confesses that she lies. I hope she's smart enough to do it. They said she's facing 20 years in prison. The judge is willing to forgive her. And she must be turning over all kind of chop, chop, yap, yap, yap about other people. In, in, no, stupid. Just stay off the buttons. What are you trying to imply? That, no. that little Kim was hitting off the judge like that? That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about little Kim knowing perhaps other people wrapped up in street life that are now caught up in the system that she can sing like a canary to and bat her eyes and then get a little ankle bracelet for, you know, a minute. If that. Anyway, I don't know what time Inside Edition comes on. And um, my tease and pop is in full bloom because I was feeling truly like Friday when I walked out of the house today. Like, you know, <laughs> let me just throw something on. I'm going to work and I'm coming home. I don't. I just want to put on my Easy Breezy, my favorite tease and pop pair. I tease, tease, tease. Is it still teased up through my nice. headphones and stuff? Yeah. Weather's gorgeous. Yeah, the problem is, is that on TV, the tease and pop, they say, comes off. You know, I don't know. Into the high definition TV, the flyaways and stuff like that. I didn't care. I didn't find that hard. Uh, Inside Edition was coming in until I was driving into work. And I was like, you know what? I'm not deflating. It is what it is. I put on my TV lip gloss and I said, roll them. <laughs> I don't like to wear, you know, this in regular life. It's too sticky and tacky. But on TV, this lip gloss looks good. So I call it my TV lip gloss. Yeah. You all remember uh, your legal questions. You all always have legal questions for me. And I'm always telling you, I don't know. You all are trying to get a divorce and your man is overseas and he refuses to sign the papers or whatever it is. Now's the time to ask those questions. I'm not going to the telephone when the counselor's here. I'm strictly taking off of the fax machine your questions for our legal friend, Kathy Middleton. Uh, she's going to be giving practical advice on everyday legal issues, divorce, you know, child support trying to get out of your lease people who've done you know you know that hit and run whatever it is so my fax number because i'm strictly answering faxes with miss Mid middleton when she comes in next hour 866 wendy fax it's 866 wendy fax coming up we'll talk about aj and star jones too i just passed the nypd exam prior to this i got a manslaughter case i stabbed my mom's boyfriend because he beat her up okay. i like to know if i should just tell them up front that i did that you're going to sound crazy. The Wendy Williams Experience. BLS 107.5, everybody. Today's R&B and Classic Soul. And, of course, the Wendy Williams Experience. I'm glad to be here with you guys. I have it, Art. I have it. <laughs> everybody, I'm hosting the WBLS live broadcast next Friday. And um, we're going to be partying at a place called The Lounge. The lounge is in um, Mount Vernon, 42 West Broad Street in Mount Vernon. It's called Lounge 42, and it's the BLS live broadcast. We're going to have a whole bowl of fun. The first 150 ladies are free next Friday night for the WBLS broadcast at the lounge. And you know what? We're calling it Hard Bottom Friday because we want you to understand, men, please don't wear sneakers. Ladies, we never break the rules. I mean... 
You know what I'm saying. So that's next Friday at Lounge 42, broadcasting live on the radio. So I'll see you there right around midnight, right? Doors open up at 11 p.m. Club stays open until 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'll see you there with the microphone. We'll be on the radio. And they're doing a giveaway um, to the sexiest lady. I'm not judging that contest. I don't know what they're giving away, and I don't know how it's going down. All I know is that the buzz is in the air, that they're giving something away to the sexiest woman. I don't know how they're going to judge that. No, I'm not saying that. There's a picture of diamond studs in this. Doesn't mean that that's what they're giving away. That's what, Are, that's what they're giving away? That's what they told me. Oh, all right. Well, we're giving away a pair of diamond studs to the sexiest woman there. That's what it's told to me. I'm not judging it because you know what? Sexy is not all. In, they should say the visually sexiest woman because the sexiest woman could have the ugliest personality, which can make her not sexy. So it needs to be the visually sexiest woman and then visually sexy according to who? What I find sexy, you might not find sexy. Who's going to judge this? Not me. I'm holding the microphone and I'm broadcasting live. You biddies, you deal with the sexiness over there. I'll be over here with my drink watching it all go down. First 150 ladies are in there free. And it's uh, 23 and older for the ladies and 25 and older for the men. So you know it's going to be a grown and sexy party. It's at Lounge 42 next Friday night in Mount Vernon. Uh, for the WBLS live broadcast, oh yes. Only thing I don't do during the live broadcast is I don't do um, shout out pools because people start to curse after they have their drinks. Like I'll take a shout out on a wet drunken napkin and do the shout out myself. But when you stick a microphone in somebody's face, I want to shout out to my mother, father, man. <laughs> he ain't no damn good. That's why I'm here tonight looking for Jerome. <laughs> Jerome, sexy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just, oh, please. But uh, it's a live broadcast, and as you can tell already, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll see you next Friday night, March 25th, in Money Earning. WBLS is encouraging you to support Black Pages. I'm encouraging you also. Have they changed this telephone number? Okay, then I'm not encouraging right now. Um, can we have one of the interns just call and make sure that's Black Pages? Because the other day I gave the telephone number out and there was a business that um, was getting all the calls. Everybody interested. That's a very good organization, too. We need to get that number right. Bob Lee's going to be at the Verizon store um, inside the Forest Hills Communications uh, store. That's today at 4 o'clock. And if you want to know where that's located, because Bob's going to be with the WBLS street team and he's going to have some free goodies to go. Um, it's at 70 34 Austin Street in Forest Hills, right across from Ann Taylor. Today at 4 o'clock, look for Bob Lee over there at the. Actually, he's there from 2 to 4 p.m. He's there today. Oh, he's there from now until 4. All right, so go. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> Right now, Verizon's having the big, uh, big special, big event on uh, the camera phones. It's their big camera phone event where you buy one and get three of the same phone free. Oh, you and your family will be taking pictures for days. A free camera phone for mom, a free camera phone for dad, one for grandma, one for your neighbor, whatever. So Bob is there from 2 to 4 p.m. So he's already 28 minutes into his visit. All right, I'll give you the address one more time, then we have to move on. It's the Verizon Wireless Store at the Forest Hills Communications Center, which is located at 70-34 Austin Street in Forest Hills. Okay, so he's there until 4 o'clock. Um, here, Dave. You can have this back, as usual, this time of day. I'm hungry. Getting ready to order something light and lean from Subway, which happens to be on L.A. Weight Loss. No, I was going to say. Yes, it's, I'm, I'm ordering. I think I got the menu right here. I'm going to order one of these Jarrett specials. And a Diet Dr. Pepper. All right, you guys, um, keep it here. Uh, more chop, 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 gossip, gossip, gossip. And, um, and the attorney coming up at 3 o'clock for advice hour. Keep it here. There is a need for alarm. For Wendy Williams' experience. Have a seat, you sit to the right. And this is just a get to the flight. Until I talk, until I talk to her. All right, wait, hold on. I'm talking about people. All right, everybody, it's the experience. Everybody is being really good about sending legal um, situations for the counselor for next hour. You know, I love this. This will be my first time meeting this woman. Her name is Kathy Middleton. 
But she actually corresponded with me, and I liked what she had to say in terms of the thi the things. She said, Wendy, there are certain things that, that people want to know, legal issues, that um, I would love to be able to come in and, and, and help people out with. You know, and she had, like, bullet points in her letter. And her bullet points were, like, you know, child support, you know, rent issue, or, or you know, whatever. So now I'm, I'm building up an arsenal of faxes. Oh, next hour is going to be fun and informative because somebody else's problem could be your problem, too. So the counselor's coming in. We're strictly dealing with our conversation in the studio and your faxes from the fax machine at 866-WENDY-FAX, uh, okay? Okay, good. I love you guys. Did I tell you that today? Give me a hug. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody didn't use deodorant. <laughs> oh, damn. This must have been African. <laughs> Go back. Um, <laughs> Courtney Parker is the name of the author that was here yesterday. Courtney Parker uh, with her book. So, you guys, somebody give it up one time for AJ. He's breaking his chains. Oh, yeah. You don't even know what you're clapping about, but just keep it, keep it going. Keep, keep it going. Keep it going while I tell you this story. Keep it going. Keep it going. UPN 9 has picked up a comedy pilot starring AJ. Oh, wonderful. Yay. One Negro family to another Negro family. Yeah, well, that free, what you going to do? Uh -oh. She's a rapper. She's platinum bound. You know what? Little Kim will do her triple Martha Stewart and come out and free will still be on 106 and Park talking about I'm a rapper. I'm Marie Antoinette. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Kim will be able to hold it down her position. I don't see anybody else stepping up like that. Kim is a legend, though. Actually. That's what I'm saying. She's a legend. She's the first for a lot of things. She, there is one little Kim. And that's it. Oh, you forgot the Diet Pepsi. They sold out. Oh, get, then I'll take full fat. What do you mean, downstairs they sold out? No, I mean, I'll go downstairs. No, she doesn't have to go downstairs. No, I'll take full fat. I, I need something to drink now. Okay. Why do I say full fat? There's no fat in soda, but you know what I mean. I'll take uh, full fat uh, Pepsi. Okay. Do they have orange soda in there? No, it's um, grape? grape soda and Coke. Oh, I'm feeling particularly black. Give me something great. <laughs> full fat. Okay. So, good. So, you pianist picked up. AJ, this is fabulous. Are they making you cut your braids? <laughs> Don't let them change you, boy. That's how we know you, for good or for bad. You cut your braids, you're going to look like Flex Alexander. Oh. You see what I'm saying? You keep your hair, boy. Don't let nobody change. Uh... So, UPN 9 has picked up the comedy pilot starring AJ Calloway. The show... With AJ Calloway is what it's called. He's got his name in the title. The show with A Damn J Calloway. From Sony Pictures and Handprint Entertainment. It's gonna chronicle the life of AJ, who, on this fictitious show, he's going to be hosting a late night talk show. But he's got the old girlfriend, the dysfunctional friends, and the ever-present family members. Who always have their hand out and want to borrow money and whatnot. <laughs> Susan DePast Entertainment is executive producing. And uh, AJ, I just think that's great. Handprint Entertainment, by the way, is owned by Benny Medina, um, the man behind Fresh Prince of Bel Air. AJ, you were always on your way. You always had that certain je ne sais quoi. We've talked about it many drunken nights uh, in CD bars. However, your day has come. You'll have all the Asian women you want now. Your day has come. Maybe he's going to do both. Oh, hell no, AJ. Don't even waste your time. Do both. Why does he have to keep a foot in, in, um, in hip-hop? It's the number one show and video. People already know. Look, if he has a good a TV a pilot or a good TV show. Oh, then again, if the TV show gets canceled, exactly. which happens quite a bit. AJ, no, it won't. Eve is still on. Hell, I've even gotten to tolerate it. See, you keep something around long enough, and you know, you know what I mean. Good to go, AJ. So, when's your last day? Free up the line. Maybe he's around. He'll call in. You know, he's probably out there buying his new joint out in California and slaying some Asian woman over the bidet. Damn. Yeah, well, you know, no more time for the black people now. Although he's on UPN 9, <laughs> out there in Hollywood, he'll never have to actually socialize Negroidian. No. 
This is a dream come true for AJ. No more Negroes. Congratulations. He's scared of us. <laughs> he made it out. <laughs> he made it out. AJ, no more BET. I know you're happy. Now who's going to take your job? Ray J. Oh, Ray J. Oh, that's perfect. Is it is my same name? Ray J. Calloway. Just call, you know what I mean? Put him right in there. Now, free, Ray J is going to make you look like grandma. So they really do need to put somebody else in there like that. Uh, the girl, who's the girl over there? The Spanish girl? I actually J- like. Julie and Jillian or something like that. Julissa or Julissa, something. Yeah. Mm, Welsh is too. <laughs> Only thing blacker would have been if it was at like knee high. Mm. I don't know why I'm drinking full fat soda. Sometimes you just have that taste. It's better than buying a pack of licorice. It's Friday and summer's here. <laughs> <laughs> you also, Star Jones right? so she sashays into the restaurant. Hold on, let me take a swig. So... See, she sashays in the restaurant, the Beverly Hills Polo Lounge, and there were two people sitting at her favorite table. Well, now here she goes. She ordered the hostess, according to my friend Mike Walker, who gossips for the Inquirer. She ordered the hostess to ask them to move. The hostess refused to ask them to move, offering Star another table. Star says, I don't want another table. Then Star actually went over to the two diners. Oh hell no! And asked them to relocate, but they weren't impressed. And they had just begun their meal, and they suggested that she can put that where over there at another table. Star was so upset she stormed off with no lunch. Good. That's that's keeps in line with her losing weight. Maybe you didn't need any lunch that day. It wasn't meant to be. I wonder what she did. I wonder if she said, like, hello, I'm Starlet. Do you know who I am? This is my favorite table in this whole place. Would you be so kind as to move? (laughs) It would have been my pleasure to say, oh, hell no. (laughs) Oh, you know what I mean? All right, keep it here, everybody. It's windy, man. I just found out this morning that my supervisor's pregnant. Damn you, I told you not to do it. Should I tell my wife what's up? Plan on a divorce. And um, as for your job, put that where? Back there. The Wendy Williams experience. Everybody needs some. Should I leave? Like, is that selfish to my son? Come get some. Let me tell you, Wendy. It's really a trouble with a dude. Advice out. I'm having a problem with my fiancé and his family. I was in a relationship with this girl for like 18 months. She told me the relationship meant nothing. Oh, always drama. Call Wendy right now. 1-866-GET-WENDY. Facts Wendy at 866-WENDY-FAX. Wendy, can you give me advice on plastic surgery? Mm-hmm. Hey, everybody, it's 107.5 WBLS. We're about to check in with Bob Lee, who right now is at the Verizon Wireless Store, located inside the Forest Hills Communication Store, which happens to be at 70-34 Austin Street in Forest Hills, Queens, across from Ann Taylor. Now, Bob will be there till 4 o'clock, and so they're having a free, they're having, excuse me, some kind of um, camera phone special or something or another. But Bob's on the phone now. Hey, Bob. Hey, Wendy. We're live at Verizon. You turn us on, we'll turn you on. This is the Verizon Wireless Store inside Forest Hills Communications Store at 70-34 Austin Street in Forest Hills across from Ann Taylor. And we'll be here until about 4 o'clock. And right now, during Verizon Wireless Big Camera Phone event, you buy one phone, you get three of the same phone free. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And don't forget those accessories. Get those car chargers, headsets, leather cases included at those package prices for forty nine or thirty nine ninety nine. Thank you, sir. Woo. And with your new phone, we have service technicians on site here to provide service for your new phone. Thank you, ma'am. We also have phones that have you can watch live video, news, sports, entertainment, and everything. And great customer service. Now, can you read that bottom line for me? No problem, Bob. It's easy to take and send pictures on any camera phone from Verizon Wireless. Plus, you'll get America's most reliable wireless. Give her a big hand, everybody. There you go. 
And here's the location. You turn us on, we'll turn you on. It's 70-34 Austin Street in Forest Hills, Queens. I'm Bob Lee, keeping you connected to the community. Yeah. On 107.5 WBLA. Yeah.